Hi, and welcome to Jack's Conf, and I've uh, managed to catch a few words with Les Hazelwood of Stormpath. How are you today, sir? I'm great. Excellent. So, well, I suppose where to start would be, tell me about Stormpath. So, um, Stormpath is an authentication and user management service for developers. Yeah. We're, we're fundamentally a SaaS REST JSON API. So right, at our okay. core, we're a REST JSON API, and then we provide open source developer SDKs so people can drop them in their apps and then communicate back with us. But we're really there as a service to offload work for the developer. We're very developer centric, developer targeted. Okay, cool. Um, obviously, as you said, authentication. I can never say that word, it's kind of annoying. And, secu and security. Yep. Um, big, big kind of worries for Java developers in particular. For sure. And obviously beyond that as well. So, how and why is security such a big problem at the moment, do you feel? Um, it's getting a lot of press I mean, for different reasons. Sure, yeah. I mean, there's, you know, from the Sony PlayStation breach to, yeah. you know, there's just a lot of problems. I think the, the, the biggest issue is that developers in general are not security experts, and yeah. so they're really good at developing apps, you know, handling yeah, yeah. web requests and building web applications and whatnot, but the world of security and cryptography especially is, it's, is, it's is a whole other side game, yeah. you know, and so... Um, so you'd say it's not necessarily something which they kind of neglect, but not an yeah. expert in I don't, Yeah, all. exactly. I don't think people like purposefully neglect security. Yeah. You know, they, they just like, that. okay, we'll, we'll do it later because yeah, we know yeah. it's necessary, it's critical. As we like to say at Stormpath, it's, mm -hmm. it's critical to an app, but it's yeah. not core to why you're building your app. Sure. So you, yeah. you want to focus on the core things. Okay, cool. Um, um, but in your organization and the products that you do, REST and JSON is obviously a big part of that. Yep. Why is that, is that the, the kind of standard thing? Yeah, um, so um, so over the last 10, 15 years, there's been a, a big proliferation in web-based access among heterogeneous platforms. Yeah. You know, company A talking to company B in different platforms. and. Mm -hmm. um, and that was, you know, really spearheaded, I, I guess, um, at least on the web with uh, SOAP back in the day. Yeah. Um, but that was complex and it needed XML and you had different kind of um, semantics for parsing and, and data types and it was a, there was a lot of complexity involved. So yeah. JSON is sort of the next evolution okay. of how to, of that data format transferring over web protocols. And it's just easier to consume, it's easier for developers to read and, and to look at, so it's just, it, most people feel it's simpler to so, work. So ease, ease of setup is a big thing for you guys. You want exactly. them to be able to be, you know, kind of just exactly. there and get and it And so, work. yeah, so REST and JSON are kind of the lingua franca of today's modern yeah, absolutely. HTTP based uh, applications. So mm -hmm. we, we stuck with that. Okay, um, I believe you're the co-founder of Apache Shiro. Yep, is that yeah. correct? Yeah, uh, so uh, I was yeah. talking to you, some of the guys on the booth before, and they said you coded 95% of that project. Originally. Yeah, so so uh, prob probably closer to like 85 to 90% oh, okay, now, okay. but but um, yeah, I was one of the original founders. Um, that was Apache Shiro was really founded out of a frustration that I had in the early days with Java, okay, um, and that Java couldn't handle more sophisticated. Uh, application level security concerns. So mm -hmm. I was working on a government project. We had a lot of different facilities and buildings that all need to synchronize with each other. And the JVM just wasn't capable of doing these things back in 2003. Yeah. So I created the work and then that led to Shiro. Um, do you think Java has changed at that time to handle security well? No. no okay. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> so, so the, uh, the, good answer, the good thing is that there are things like Apache Shiro and Spring Security and mm -hmm. other frameworks that, yeah, absolutely. that really kind of fill in that, that hole, mm -hmm. you know? Um, the JVM and JAWS, specifically J-A-A-S, yeah. is the, the Java's security framework. That hasn't really changed a whole lot, and it's really okay. there for virtual machine level security, and then you let Shiro and Spring Security kind of do the heavy lifting for apps. Okay, great. So, it has a storm path, back to that. Um, what are you guys up to in the next couple of months? So, we have a lot of kind of cool features coming out. Um, we're really kind of focusing on SAML and OAuth to simplify that even more for developers. Yeah, sure. So, um, to begin with, they're, they're kind of complicated protocols, um, and even though OAuth is like a little more simpler than, than SAML, for example, they're still yeah. not trivial, and okay. so that requires a lot of research, and how do I plug it into my application? And so part of what we want to do with Stormpath is really just alleviate even those concerns entirely. So I just want to configure a URL and tell Stormpath to handle the rest of it, and I never have to touch anything. So that, that's, that's what we're trying to roll out in addition to what we already have. Okay. Great. Well, thanks for talking to me. Yeah, no problem. Enjoy the rest of Jack's Yeah, take care.